I'm Coral Bass with Manatee County Parks and Natural Resources and this week we've been talking about the ferocious owl. These cool nocturnal flyers have got some amazing adaptations. We're going to do some little bite-sized activities to learn all about them. So come along with me and learn about the cool and amazing owl. Items you'll need to complete this activity are a rope, I used a jump rope, tape, uh, clipboard or board with a hole in it, paper, two long sticks, toilet paper tube, towel, bandana, and scissors. One way an owl is an owl is their feather coloration. Take a moment and look at the colors of our owl. What colors do you see? browns, oranges, grays, and off-white that look an awful lot like the forest where the owls live. It's camouflage, or the ability for animals to blend into their environment. Now look at this picture. Can you see an owl? If you're having trouble, look for the ear tufts. It's a good sign of this screech owl. Another secret of an owl's ability to stealthily stalk the forest is hidden in their flight. Owl wings, feathers, have barbs on the end that deaden the sound, making them silent as they fly. On the left side is the owl feather. You can see the curls at the end. Those are the barbs. On the right is a hawk. And it's streamlined and straight, so the owls deaden the sound. On our next activity, we are going to be building an owl wing to see how that works. All right, so the items we're going to need. Towel. Tape. Clipboard or a board with a hole in it. And a piece of rope. Start by securely attaching the board to the rope, and then swing with the rope in your hand, swing it around a few times carefully. Do you hear the board? If you can hear it, an owl's prey certainly can. So to combat that, we're going to lay a towel flat down on, on the flat surface, and then lay a clipboard in the middle. Fold the towel over the clipboard, and then secure with tape. Once done, we're going to try it again. Now try swinging the clipboard again. Can you hear the difference? The difference in sound. Talking about hearing, owls have one of the keenest sense of hearing. While we may have outside structures to help funnel our hearing, owls do not. They're actually ear tufts. Their ears are hidden under the feathers and asymmetric. The left ear is lower than the right ear allowing them an easier time of pinpointing the exact spot of their prey. Now we humans typically have symmetrical ears on the same level and are not as exact on the spot in the sound. So in this activity, it's going to take a partner, blindfold, two sticks or yardsticks. One person will sit crisscross applesauce or stand with a bandana covering their eyes. Their job is to listen for the sound of two yardsticks bumping together. When they hear the sound, to point where they believe the sound comes from. Now the standing partner's job is to use the two yardsticks and to carefully tap them around the, the other partner's head. I like to try it out on the right and the left and then get a little trickier and do it down the middle. How many did we get right? How many did you get right? Owls have incredible eyes, but they're very different from yours and mine. I want you to take a moment 
and look to your left using only your eyes. Don't use your head. Now look to your right, only with your eyes. You can do that, right? You can see. Owl can't do that. Owls rely completely on, our, on the ability to turn their head. So 270 degrees. I can't do that, can you? No. Let's try this with a little experiment because their eyes are sausage shaped, kind of like a toilet paper tube. Put a toilet paper tube up to your eye. All right, you see that toilet paper tube? All right, now take your finger and move your finger as far as you can from one side. When you no longer can see it, pull it down, pull the toilet paper down. You can see where the finger is. That's as far as their vision is. Now go to the other side. Pull it down. It can only see about this far apart. And that's on two sides. So they'd have two binocular vision, right? So combine that, they can see just in front of their head. Whereas we humans, we have flexible eyes. And if we were to do it, just looking as far as we could would be almost the distance of two shoulder lengths. It would be about shoulder length, we could see. Owl's eyes are similar to humans as light passes through the cornea to the lens and then the retina. Once light hits the retina in humans, it transfers to the optic nerve. Owl's retinas, however, have a mirror on the eye called a tapetum lucidum that allows the light to bounce and have twice the opportunities to see. That is why owls have better night vision. Owl beaks are really neat. They're incredible. They are very sharp and typically owls eat their food in one gulp, one giant gulp. But if they can't, if a barred owl goes and grabs a skunk or a possum, they've got to be able to eat it in smaller chunks. So they have scissors and paper. Oh, that's all you need for this activity. And cut. See how it cuts? See how it's easy and slowly snips through? That is exactly how an owl will do. Just cut and done. Thank you so much for joining me today as we discovered all about owl adaptations, how they have a really amazing eyes, really sharp beaks. And so come along again next week on some of our, our other adventures. Bye.